helping make your life easier. Moms every day. You may think that a case of the sniffles is just a cold or that it will go away with a dose or two of antibiotics, but you may have a case of sinusitis. Now, Dr. Vinay Mehta is here from Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology Associates to tease Chess about the symptoms and treatment of this. And nice to have you here today. Yeah, thank you very much. So, what is it exactly? Well, sinusitis refers to inflammation of sinuses, which are empty cavities located within the cheekbones, around the eyes, and behind the nose. And their function is to warm, humidify, and filter the air they breathe in. In cases of sinusitis, um, the most common cause are actually the common cold virus. Um, other causes for sinusitis are allergies, uh, which can contribute by causing swelling of the nose, thereby preventing the sinuses from draining. And occasionally, anatomical factors such as neuronasal passages or deviated nasal septum can also contribute. And some of the symptoms, I know I suffer from it, uh, usually get some kind of sinus problems once a month sometimes. Right. Um, what can people do for them? Well, as I mentioned, most cases of sinusitis are due to viruses, not bacteria, mm -hmm. and therefore don't need antibiotics. Um, that being said, um, there are some preventive measures that you can try to help reduce symptoms. Uh, first of all, get plenty of rest. You know, that will allow the immune system to better fight the infection. Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, drink plenty of warm liquids. That will help thin out nasal secretions and help um, loosen phlegm. Uh, third, try irrigating your sinuses with salt water. That will help alleviate the excess mucus and also the, uh, help alleviate nasal congestion. And fourth, you can even gargle with salt water. That helps reduce the drainage in the back of the throat. And if you do take uh, medications, I would avoid the nasal decongestions uh, because they can have side effects, particularly in children, and they can actually cause worsening congestion if used for more than three days. A better option would actually be a nasal steroid spray, which actually improves inflammation and helps alleviate symptoms quicker. Now, how do you know if you have sinusitis or if you just have a sinus headache? Well, the typical symptoms of sinusitis um, include nasal congestion, uh, it includes um, pain or pressure around the eyes, the forehead, uh, include headaches. Uh, occasionally you may also have um, drainage in the back of the throat which can lead to a chronic cough. Uh, you may have ear fullness, ear pressure. Um, sometimes your sense of smell can also be affected, mm -hmm. especially in cases of chronic sinusitis. And it just doesn't go away. And it just doesn't go away. Okay. Uh, one of the things that we do um, you know, when we see a person with sinusitis is, is really get a good clinical history. Uh, occasionally, in cases of chronic or recurrent sinusitis, we may consider sinus imaging either through an x-ray or a CAT scan, okay. and we may also consider allergy testing because having allergies can certainly contribute to sinusitis, okay. and treating one's allergies significantly improves okay. the risk of developing sinusitis. All right, Doctor, we are out of time, but good advice. Thanks for being Thank here Thank you today. very much. And if you'd like more information on this, you can visit Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology Associates and visit our Moms Every Day, or download the Moms Every Day app. Visit Moms Every Day online or on the go through our Moms Every Day app. Download it today to find local solutions for you and your family.